is done in the uh, need faculty. Today we are going to discuss about C3 path as well as C4 path. Dark reaction, then otherwise called as MC3 pathway or Kelvin cycle. Dark reaction takes place in the absence of sunlight in the Stroman lamella. Dark reaction is also called as light independent reaction because of light is not necessary. Then C3 pathway. In this dark reaction, the first stable compound is phosphoglyceric acid or phosphoglycerate. It is consists of three carbons. The first stable carbon, carbon compound is phosphoglycerate, which consists of three carbon. Hence, the dark reaction is also called as a C3 pathway or C3 cycle. It is also called as a Kelvin cycle because of the process was explained by Kelvin cycle, uh, scientist or Melvin Kelvin. In this dark reaction, dark reaction takes place in the Stroman lamella. In this process, only carbon dioxide is going to use, then ATP, NADPH, two form of energy is going to use. This process takes place without chlorophyll, water, as well as sunlight. In this process, there are three major stages of present or st steps. One is a carboxylation, second one is a reduction, third one is a regeneration. What is meant by carboxylation? In the Stroman region, there is a ribulose 1 5 biphosphate e already present here. It is a carbon dioxide acceptor. Carbon dioxide acceptor in the presence of a special enzyme is called as a rubisco enzyme. Rubisco full form is ribulose 1 5 biphosphate, carboxylase as, as well as oxygenase. These enzymes have the two multiple functions. Carbon dioxide action is going on as well as oxygen action also going on in the presence of Rubisco enzyme. In this one, carboxylation in the sense, carbon dioxide react with RUBP, ribulose 1 5 biphosphate. RUBP consists of 5 carbon, then carbon dioxide consists of 1 carbon. When they are together combined, 5 plus 1, 6 carbon compound is formed, that is exo sugar. Hexo sugar is an unstable compound that very immediately hexo sugar is going to convert into stable compound that each stable compound consists of three carbon in the sense one plus five six carbon compound going to split into three carbon compounds of two through each three carbon compound is called as in phosphoglycerate this conversion is, takes place in the presence of rubisco this action is called as in carboxylation the next step is in three phosphoglycerate going to convert into 1,3 biphosphoglyceric acid with the help of 12 ATP molecules. 12 ATP molecules are going to use in this process then 12 ATP is converts into 12 ADP means phosphate is going to add for this phosphoglyceric acid. This conversion is possible with the help of an enzyme is called as a kinase enzyme is it. Then this 1,3 biphosphoglyceric acid converts into 3 phosphoglyceroldehyde. By, by the help of enzyme is called as a dehydrogenase enzyme. This conversion is also possible with the help of energy consumption. 12 NADPH2s are going to use and it is converts as 12 NADP. NADPH2 is form of energetic. NADPH is low, low energetic form. So by this process, at the end product is a 3 phosphoglyceroid heads are found. So then reduction, 1,3 by phosphoglyceric acid is converts into 3 phosphoglyceroid head is called as a reduction. This 3 phosphoglyceroldehyde is going to form as a formation of sugar, starch, and carbohydrates. If you can see here, this just you can see here, total here 3 phosphoglyceroldehydes, 12 are present. How? Just you can see very brief. Come to the point here first. 6 carbon dioxide combines with 6 RUBP. 1 carbon dioxide combines with 1 RUBP. 6 carbon dioxide can combine with 6 RUBP. In the sense, 6 here 6 carbons are present, each one has a 1 carbon, 6 here 5 carbons are present, each will be low, uh, RUBP, 6 5 are 30 carbons are present, 30 plus 6, 36 carbons are there here total, when the 36 carbons are here, that each, each compound has a 3 carbons, means 12 moles of 3 phosphoglycerates are found, then 12 moles in the sense, 12 3 are 36 carbons are present, then three, 12 moles of 3 phosphoglycerates converts into 12 moles of 1,3 biphosphoglyceric glyc acids. Then 12, phos 12 moles of 1,3 biphosphoglyceric acids converts into 12 moles of 3 phosphoglyceroldehydes. Out of these 12 moles, 2 moles of phosphoglyceroldehydes going to convert into 2 dihydroxyacetate phosphates. And this and each one has a 3 carbon. 
थ्री कार्बन कॉम्पाउंड प्लस थ्री कार्बन कॉम्पाउंड टूगेदर इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म एज एन वन सिक्स कार्बन कॉम्पाउंड दैट इज अ फ्रक्टो शुगर द फ्रक्टो शुगर इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इन टू फ्रक्टो सिक्स पासपेट विद हेल्प ऑफ पासपेट इज एनजाइम इज प्रेजेंट then fructose 6 phosphate is converts into fructose phosphate fructose phosphate is converts into sugar molecules then form is a starch as well as carbohydrates carbohydrates are the end product of this dark reaction here come to the point here out of 12 moles two male moles have been used for starch formation but remaining 10 moles 10 moles of phosphoglyceraldehyde regenerates into ribulose 15 by phosphate 10 moles, 10 threes are 30 carbons are present. In each phosphoglyceraldehyde, three three carbons are present. 10 phosphoglyceraldehydes are present. Then here, each phosphoglyceraldehyde, in the sense, uh, almost all, one and a phosphoglyceraldehyde converts into one REBB, ribulose five phosphate. Each one has a five carbons. Five six are 30 carbon compounds are present. These REBB, ribulose five five phosphate is converts into ribulose one five by phosphate. Each one consists of five carbon. Six REBB are formed. these ribulose 15 by phosphate is ready to combines with one more carbon ca carbon dioxide which is comes from the atmosphere by this degeneration process going on by this carboxylation process going on by this reduction process going on for the formation of starch but end of this dark reaction is starch is end product yes we can see the equation of dark reaction for one carbon dioxide we are trying to understand carbon dioxide one carbon dioxide By using two NADPH2, by using three ATP, then one sugar molecule is part end product end produce produced end along with the two NADP as well as three ADP and three inorganic phosphates. When there are six carbon dioxide participants with a full fledged equation of dark reaction, then twelve NADPH2 are used. By using eighteen ATPs, one sugar molecule is produced. As well as 12 NADP and 18 ADP plus 18 inorganic phosphates. So here the amount of metal come in, the amount of metals goes out. Six carbon dioxide comes in and then one glucose is produced out. 18 ATP sir will be used here. Then 18 ADP sir comes out. Then 12 NADP H2 sir used here. 12 NADP sir comes out. So here in and out in the dark reaction is going on here. Now we can try to understand C4 pathway, which is seen in the tropical and subtropical plant species like in the sugar cane. In these plant species, dark reaction process somewhat different. Dark reaction taken place in the two types of cells. One is a mesophyll cell as well as bundle sheath cells. In the leaf anatomy, small differences are there. So then upper layer, upper epidermis, lower epidermis, lower side is present. In between upper and lower epidermis, there is a mesophyll cells are present. In the mesophyll cells, the greater amount of chloroplast is present. Chlorophyll is present. In the center of this leaf, there is the xylem and phloem. Together, is called as the vascular bundle. Along with the vascular bundle, there is a specially modified cells are present called as a bundle sheath. So, what is meant by crunch? Breath, thick. So, bundle sheath cells have the little bit of thick end one. In these plants, dark reaction how they going on here? Light reaction process same. How the reaction is takes place in other plant species? Light reaction process same, but dark reaction is somewhat different. Just look at here. In these plant species, two types of cells are going to here. The chloroplast in the C4 plants also called as an dimorphism. The chloroplast have the two types of features. The chloroplast which is present in the mesophyll cells have the special feature, which is present in the bundle sheath cells have the different features. If you can see that C4 plants dark reaction process that is called as a C4 pathway. In this one, two types of cells are used. One is a mesophyll cell, bundle sheath cells. These two cells are interconnected by. In this uh, C4 pathway, two types of cells are used. What is a mesophyll cells as well as bundle sheath cells. In the mesophyll cells. some changes here especially mesophyll cells have the chloroplast in the chloroplast the atmospheric carbon dioxide is accepted absorbed with the help of gas exchanges but carbon dioxide is converts into bicarbonate ions in the sense atmospheric oxygen carbon dioxide form of carbon dioxide is not taken by mesophyll cells carbon dioxide is converts into bicarbonate ions this bicarbonate ions does not taken by ribulose 15 diphosphate as usual like a c3 plants but the carbon dioxide is received by phosphoenol pyruvate then carbon dioxide with phosphoenol pyruvate we can got as a fixation 
then by the fixation the phosphoenyl pyruvate consists of three carbons then carbon dioxide which is in the form of bicarbonate ions have the one carbon together 3 plus 1 four carbon compound is formed that is an oxalic acid the oxalic acid is converts into transports into the bundle of sheet cells that is an malic acid is that malic acid is losing that carbon dioxide one carbon dioxide then malic acid is going to converts into three carbon compound that is an pyruvic acid the pyruvic acid is transports into the mesophyll cells through the plasmodes meda then pyruvic acid is converts into phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate again then ready to compounds with accept then carbon dioxide in the form of bicarbonate ions as per the textbook there is a mesophyll cell as well as bundle of sheet cells have the interconnection by plasmodes meda then here c4 c4 acid is uh, transport to the transport to the bundle of sheet cells then is a losing one carbon dioxide then again they converts into c3 acids this carbon dioxide is going to participate in the calvin cycle at end of this calvin cycle starch is prepared in the sense atmospheric carbon dioxide is taken by bicarbonate ions hence bundle of sheet cells do not undergo formation of in c4 plant two types of cells are used that is a mesophyll cell as well as bundle of sheet cell for dark reaction mesophyll cell exposed to atmosphere bundle of sheet cells in the middle of this mesophyll cell mesophyll cell can take the atmospheric carbon dioxide but to continue the dark reaction rubisco enzyme is important the rubisco enzyme is not present in the mesophyll cell but bundle of sheet cells have the rubisco enzyme but they don't have the gas form of carbon dioxide they they do not have the capacity to take the carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere here the bundle of sheet cell do not take the atmospheric carbon dioxide but mesophyll cell take the carbon dioxide but in the mesophyll cell rubisco enzyme is absent in the bundle of sheet cells rubisco enzyme is present hence by together mesophyll cell as well as bundle sheet cell dark rush will be completed in the c4 plant species how does you can see here the first stage of this dark rush is carboxylation the second step is reduction the third step is an decarboxylation the third step is an decarboxylation after decarboxylation again that process of carboxylation again the process of reduction again the process of regeneration is going on here how does here in the sense in this process two carboxylation processes then two reduction processes as well as one decarboxylation process one regeneration process going on in this process then bicarbonates converts into glucose then 30 atps are consumed in the regular dark reaction only 18 atps are consumed but here 12 atp atps extra is consumed here then 12 nadp is are h h consumed as a show in the regular dark reaction also 12 nadp hs are used but here 30 atps are used in the regular dark reaction only 18 atps are used here extra 12 atps are consumed but here individual carbon dioxide the form of carbon dioxide is not taken bicarbonates form of carbon dioxide is taken initially but at last they converts into carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is converts into glucose now uh, now we can see this very brief atmospheric carbon dioxide is taken by phosphoenol pyruvic acid have the three carbons that atmospheric carbon dioxide is converts into bicarbonate ions means carbon dioxide react with water to form as a bicarbonates then phosphoenol pyruvic acid react with bicarbonates and they converts into oxalic acid oxalic acid has in three four carbon the first stable carbon the first stable compound in the plant is four carbon compound hence is called as a c4 pathway then oxalic acid is the first stable compound then here this oxalic acid is converts into malate malate in the presence of malic dehydrogenase enzyme the malate or malic acid or aspartic acid it is a transport from mesophyll cells to into the bundle sheet cells transports from mesophyll to bundle sheet cells through plasmodes meda there is a small gaps are present from one cell to another cell under cell plasma desmata is not present in animal cells present only in the plants plant cells the malic acid consists of four carbon compound it is converts into a malic acid is going to lose one carbon dioxide by decarboxylation process by the decarboxylation process 
in the presence of enzyme is called as malic enzyme in the sense out of four carbon compound one carbon is released in the form of carbon dioxide the gas form of carbon dioxide is available in the bundle sheet cells this carbon dioxide undergoes to calvin cycle they are followed by carboxylation reduction as well as regeneration at end of this calvin cycle glucose is formed calvin cycle is as usual in the bundle sheet cells out of this four carbon compound one carbon is released in the form of carbon dioxide remaining three carbon compound is formed as usual that is a pyruvic acid pyruvic acid is converts into pyruvate the pyruvate is transport from bundle sheet cells to mesophyll cell the pyruvate is transported this pyruvate is converts into pyruvic acid by consumption of 12 atp 12 atp is released into 12 adp then phosphoenol pyruvic acid is converts into phosphoenol pyruvic acid that is a phosphoenol pyruvic acid is nothing but a regeneration they are waiting for one under six molecules of carbon dioxide they have to go to carboxylation process in the presence of carboxylase enzyme they have to go to process here the transportation of materials means compounds from mesophyll cells to bundle of sheet cell bundle of sheet cells to mesophyll cell but here in the bundle of sheet cell free atmospheric carbon dioxide is released in this pre atmospheric carbon dioxide glucose is formed by the process of calvin cycle along with the calvin cycle inertial calvin cycle there is a something reactions are going on to start the dark reaction so we can see few of these neat model questions from the today completed chapter the first question is the first stable product of c3 c3 path we plants common plant species the option is given as a phosphoglyceraldic head second option is phosphoglyceric acid third option is dihydroxy acetone phosphate fourth option is oxalic acid so c3 plants first stable compound is phosphoglyceric acid which is consist of three carbons then second question is the first stable product of c4 path just we discussed now in the c4 plant species oxalic acid first of stable compound it consist of four carbon then here the enzyme acting as both carboxylase as well as oxygenase enzyme controls the dye this question was asked in the previous neat exam then phospho in all pyruvic carboxylase enzyme or option given given as an rubisco enzyme option 3 is given as carbonic anhydrase enzyme option 4 is given as atp ase enzyme so option is then b is correct one rubisco rubisco is active form in the form of in the presence of carbon dioxide as well as in the presence of oxygen then fourth question is crunch anatomy is shown by in the option one is given the leaves of dalicos roots of maize option 3 stem of apentia fourth option is leaves of saccharum so leaves of saccharum all the tropical plant species sub tropical plant species have the crunch anatomy even like a maize plant question 5 is and c4 plants are different from the c3 plants with reference to the substrate that accept carbon dioxide in the carbon assimilation form option 2 types of end product of photosynthesis in the both common end product there is a starch option 3 is and number of atp consumed in the synthesis of sugar in the synthesis of sugar atp consumption is c but starting point is little bit of different the type of pigments involved in the photosynthesis also c the option 1 is correct one the substrate that accept the carbon dioxide in the carbon assimilation that c4 plants accept the carbon dioxide in the form of carbonic ionic form bicarbonate ionic form in the c3 plants atmospheric carbon dioxide form now the sixth one is and the choose wrong combination with respect to this uh, location of enzymes in the c4 plant species option 4 is given here pp is means case phosphoenol pyruvic carboxylase stroma of mesophyll cells in the chloroplast option 2 rubisco stroma of bundle sheet cells chloroplast then option 3 malic enzyme is present in the stroma of bundle sheet cells in the chloroplast then fourth fourth one is an pyruvate dikinase enzyme is present in the stroma of mesophyll cells of chloroplast among this one then first option is wrong pass phosphoenol pyruvic carboxylase enzyme is present in the mesophyll cell but not in the stroma in the cytol of mesophyll cells in the chloroplast in the cytol of mesophyll cells so pep case enzyme is present so option 1 is wrong so these are the typical questions from this today's discussed topic there were some few questions were asked in the previous so then previous questions as per the today syllabus first question is uh, phosphoenol pyruvate 
is a primary is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor is in which plants carbon dioxide is accepted by phosphenol pyruvate as a primary acceptor that is a C4 plants in the C3 plants RUBP ribulose 1 5 by phosphate the process which makes major difference between C3 and C4 plants is that is a glycolysis second option is Calvin cycle third one photorespiration fourth one is the respiration glycolysis Calvin cycle is common only photorespiration is takes place only C3 plants in the C4 plants photorespiration does not take place in crunch anatomy the bundle sheet cells are having option one is given thin walls many intercellular spaces and no chloroplast thick wall no intercellular space and large number of chloroplast thin walls no intercellular space and several chloroplast option four is a thick walls many intercellular spaces and a few chloroplast answer is two thick walls no intercellular space and a large number of chloroplast is present today we discussed about C3 pathway as well as C4 pathway. In the next two class, we are going to understand the reactions in the camp plants as well as factors effects on the rate of photosynthesis.